Hi, everyone. Well, I'm not happy, as you must uh, imagine, with the results of the election. But I must say, the aftermath was conducted in quite a different way than what we recently experienced. We must accept the results of this election. Earlier today, I spoke with President-elect Trump and congratulated him on his victory. I also told him that we will help him and his team with their transition and that we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power. As with Hillary Clinton, who conceded the night of the election and then spoke the next day, Kamala Harris graciously congratulated Donald Trump and pledged her support for a good transition. In 2020, I don't remember that. Indeed, up until a day or two ago, Trump continues to say that he won the 2020 election. Now, I join Kamala in saying that while I think it was terrible what the American people did, I accept the results of the election, just as I accepted the results of Ronald Reagan's election. I guess I'm getting a little older, although I didn't like that either. We have to remember that Donald Trump is not a good man. I don't know why more of you voted for him than not. Joe Biden won by almost twice as many votes as Trump finally has won the popular vote. And yet, Trump continues to this day to say that he won the election. However, it's over. He's going to be the president. We are hopeful that now that he doesn't have and he acts to grind with respect to the Christian right and whatever, maybe he will ameliorate some of the uh, pro-choice situations, because he used to be pro-choice. Maybe he will step back a little bit with the help of some of his more moderate friends. I don't know. I'm very concerned, though, about the future of America. Many of you voted just specifically on one issue, going to the grocery store. The economy is better. Trump will inherit a very good economy, just as he did with Obama, because the stock market is booming, inflation is low, the prices have stabilized, interest rates are coming down, and our Western allies were friendly to us and confident with us, and now they're very, very nervous. So, it's over. I'll continue to talk about this and that, as the transition goes on, I'm not going to congratulate Donald Trump. I don't think he deserves it. But I do accept, unlike him, the result of an election that my party lost. See you later.